All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? That's a little too much color there. Okay, I'll just go like that. Okay, we're going to do another whip and chat here with Diamond Art Clubs, So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler. All right, we're about around here. Green book, part of the blue book. Yeah, around here. All right, square drill, 22 inches by 43 inches, 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters. 53 colors, including two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. And they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under color code or DMC code 150 is considered an AB from Diamond Art Club. All right, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Looks like we're getting a bank of gray clouds. And then there's like blue sky like down below. It's weird. It was just like the sunset last night. The sun was like orange and like setting and yet yeah, it was pouring rain when I got home from work from that shift switch last night. It, it was weird. <laughs> Alright, so working on the forward slash, I believe. Yep, last time. Yep. Okay, did the bubble. So now, just go up here. Hopefully you're a diamond painting or other hobby endeavors are going well. We'll just hang out for a bit. I think my mom wants the studio this afternoon. She always says that, and then it just, yeah. We'll just go with the flow, see what happens. <laughs> yeah, so I'm working like all next week, basically, so. <laughs> A long week at my full time, and then, or, yeah, long week at my full time, and then on the Wednesday, Thursday, I work uh, four hours over the two days. Yeah, four hour shifts, I'll take it. Yeah, just eight hours, but hey, if I can get like eight to ten hours shift every week, I'm set to go for the part time stuff. So, now it's better than nothing. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is just the face of the pocket watch. There we go. <laughs> Be so glad to finish the pocket watch. <laughs> so I always say stopwatch. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll just there's a color block in here. Yeah, yeah this is quite a <laughs> predominant symbol in this section. Hopefully that's like bright enough. There we go. Move the light down. As, yeah, I've had the light shine down, and yeah, I've noticed a light reflection spot on the adhesive, <laughs> and it's on the adhesive throughout the whole hour, or half hour. Sorry, half hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably annoying for some people. So. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, there's a few stragglers here, just here and there kind of thing. Yeah, I'm thinking I might trade in my PS4 to get the PS5. PlayStation 5. 
Yeah, a co-worker suggested that. Oh, just trade in your PS4. PS5 is backwards compatible so you can play your PS4 games on. Yeah, um, probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just go like back here for the symbol. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, PS4 still works, so it is tradable. Yeah, so. Just use a good chunk of store credit to secure a PlayStation 5. <laughs> yeah, because typically when a next generation of system comes out, I'm catching up with uh, the current system uh, current game system I ran into that with like uh, I acquired the N64 and then the GameCube was coming in it, yeah it was just Yeah, it's just an ongoing cycle. Uh, 2025, 2026 might be uh, when the PlayStation 6 comes out. Yeah, it's just, why are we <laughs> still doing consoles, like, yikes, still popular, but, like, PlayStation 5's, like, expansive is crazy still. I don't know, that's almost like too much money for a console like that. Oh well, this probably need to buy like a new mattress for my bed before you know, consider doing the PlayStation 5 thing, but uh, I don't know. It's messy, like, <laughs> this adulting stuff. Yeah, thankfully it's just a mattress. I don't need like the entire bed frame, but yeah, I just need the mattress. It's expensive though as well, so. Oh dear. <laughs> it's like, there's no winning. There's always like something that comes up. But unfortunately I have to sleep, so for what I get. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a night owl or have insomnia, so. <laughs> Let's continue the color block. 3782. Yeah. There should be more of that. Another bag or something. Yeah. Yeah, I had a full bag. Yeah, check that before. Yeah, I'll probably end up using the rest of this. What's in my tray for the section? Now, yeah. oh, I'll need new work boots too, but I'll get a good chunk of that money back because I have a kind of safety shoe credit 
Like I just have to hand in the receipt from the purchase of the work boots. And I get a certain amount back, refunded, etc. From my full time. I can do that like once a year. Yeah. As I wear steel toes at my full time, so. Yeah, do that too. Yeah, I, other work boots are looking a little shaky, and I just torch them at the fire pit here. Yeah. Yeah, I've burned my past pairs of work boots because they just disintegrate, <laughs> tear open. They last quite a bit, but yeah, I work in a lot of water. And that's probably what triggers the destruction of them. Yeah, add a little chemical too, and yeah, you're set to go. <laughs> it's start to disintegrate. And just try not to mess any of these forward slashes, so. Yeah, just kind of everywhere in this, but yeah, a lot of this is color block for the symbol, but yeah, it's all good. Okay, go up there. Okay, let's go up to there, and then, yeah, go back over here. Yeah, almost done for this section. Okay, here we go. Alright, I'll just basically use what's in my tray, and then since I have a smaller storage container for this color, yeah, I'll just have to open the bag of these, this color of drills, and uh, yeah, just pour a bit of the drills into the storage container, and then go from there. Ah, where was it? Oh, okay, right here. <laughs> I saw a raccoon walking around the other in the backyard the other day, just along the fence line. So it probably had rabies. <laughs> it was limping. I uh, usually do the cat litter first thing in the morning, but I kind of waited till. Later that afternoon, I decided really didn't want to have confrontation with a raccoon. They're nocturnal, I thought. I thought they were nocturnal animals, so I just mentioned it to my dad. It's like, yeah, there's a raccoon wandering around in the morning hours. It's like, yeah, raccoons we do see seem to just have rabies. Sorry to say, but yeah. All right, I see one of these forward slashes up here. Okay, there we go. Wanted to catch it <laughs> while well, I seen it. Oh, sun's coming in. <laughs> that is quite a gray cloud bank. But, yeah, there's the sun. I'll just turn that off. Uh, okay, cool. Well, I think the cloud bank is just, like, moving along. I think. <laughs> Hard to tell. It is a bit windy out, so. All right. Yeah, found an old Tetris cartridge for the Nintendo DS. So I've been playing Tetris. 
for a couple rounds. <laughs> On Nintendo DS. Yeah, Tetris World. Yeah. It was a Game Boy Advance game or something. So. Yeah, Nintendo DS, like, can hold the DS cartridges and then. Uh, Game Boy Advance, it was a bit backwards compatible. Pretty sure if you stuck a Game Boy cartridge in there, it might take it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think the Game Boy cartridges were a little smaller. If I remember correctly. I could be wrong though. Yeah, Tetris is a nice go-to kind of game. <laughs> it had classic. Yeah, not much to the Tetris World cartridge. So you, uh, diversity in the levels aren't incredible, but you do get the basic Tetris. You get the core game, Tetris gameplay. <laughs> For what Tetris is, yeah. <laughs> Probably doesn't get too many people excited. I just wanted to finish my coffee off there. Okay, we're good. Alright. Okay, let's keep going up here. I'll leave for glare. Ah, uh, yeah, see the sun coming in. But, yeah, I get the... I get the odd angle of sunlight. <laughs> so it's a little harder to see the canvas. What's on the canvas? I get the glare. <laughs> All right. There we go. Yeah, I really don't get too excited about portable game systems. The Switch is, the Nintendo Switch is an exception. Because you, it's versatile. You can do TV or the portable. I have played the Nintendo Switch portably. Yeah, but yeah, I like right by the dock. <laughs> For when the batteries start dying. <laughs> and the system. That's what I don't like so much about the battery operated stuff. The battery life just isn't fantastic, especially for a game system. But yeah, it's an older version of the Switch, so. I don't know. <laughs> My Nintendo GameCube still works, so yeah, I had mentioned I was playing Nint Luigi's Mansion the other day, so yeah, grabbed a copy of that off of Amazon. So Yeah, I'm just doing the retro games lately. Just into the retro systems. <laughs> because of this whole PS5 conundrum. This is so expensive. Uh, bet you that's like a screen time notification. Yep. <laughs> My iPhone. Yeah, if you have an iPhone, you get a screen time average every week. And it's a notification, which I'm sure you can just like turn off, but yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I have like a few games on my iPhone, like a few cell phone games, five. <laughs> Candy Crush, Soda Crush, <laughs> Royal Match, uh, Kingdom Match, maybe, and Cookie Jam. Yeah, just quick five minute, five, ten minute gaming sessions because I, the levels are usually ridiculous. <laughs> eh, I'm stuck in a couple uh, levels, but you eventually get the levels for, through some quirk of the game, finally. You struggle like 20 times and then all of a sudden the, it, you get a power up or something that you desperately need to clear the board. And the game's like, oh, you're struggling, so yeah, let's just start making this a little easier. <laughs> so we want you to keep playing. It it seems like that. It's the game's program to help nudge you forward so you don't like rage quit the whole game. Which I did with Candy Crush, but I took a few years break. <laughs> it's like over like 10,000 levels now. Yeah, they're not stopping anytime soon, uh, as far as I know. Yeah, King Games, I, if that's one of their leading uh, game apps, Candy Crush Saga. Soda Saga is coming along. It's a younger game though. But... Yeah, Soda Saga is newer. And Candy Crush has been around for like ever. Alright, you'll probably hear the air, uh, compressed air pump. <laughs> uh, Dad's down on the studio. So. Eh, it is what it is. Okay, that empties my tray of the forward slash color, so... There we go. Okay. Uh, 37, 82. I have a whole of other bag, so we're good. 23. Okay, let's get to see how much I can pour in here. Uh, we'll get my storage container so I don't want to pour this whole entire thing into the tray here and not have enough room <laughs> okay, there we go. all right good Yeah, okay, so it didn't all fit, so I'll just do a small clip and set this bag to the side. But I have filled my storage container, and I'll just put more in here, because I know that these drills will fit back in to the container. <laughs> there we go, we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just have a few more of the 3782. Put those scissors back. There we go. Yeah, that's how I, if I have multiple bags of a color, yeah. And just use one bag, open one bag at a time. And if it's smaller storage containers, cut the bag open and have those miniature binder clips. Just kind of fill the container as much as I can, as full as I can. And then, if there's some left over, clip it with the binder clip. Roll the bag, of course. Roll the corner that you opened, and then, uh, yeah, binder clip the bag, and I just have the drills hanging out. Because I just do one canvas at a time here on Echoes of Color, so. 
just have one canvas here in the drafting table so I don't mix up colors or misplace. Yeah. <laughs> So that's just what I do, but yeah, totally up to you how you store your colors. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I had to sneeze there. And yeah, moving the camera. Always hitting the support bar on the drafting table. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let's go along the top here. So I know where to stop section wave. Yeah, I listened to Justin Timberlake's new album the other day. Yeah, yeah. basically Justin Timberlake. Yeah, it was, it was alright. <laughs> I had already heard a couple of the songs via YouTube music, so... Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> it's like he never left. It's like there was never a break in between his music. Yeah, the second I sneezed, my nose started running. It's like typical. <laughs> yeah, just had to step away for a second there. All right, <laughs> all fixed. Okay. Yeah, my nose was a little stuffed. But yeah, it just took a sneeze to fix that. Yep. <laughs> One sneeze and my nose just starts running. It's just like, oh my. I think I've just had sinus stuff for like weeks. Not pain, just like congestion. And it seems to be clearing up now at the moment, but it is spring, so I. Or it's the spring type weather that would <laughs> probably initiate allergic reactions with the pollen and stuff in the air. Yeah. Oh, see how it goes. It's frost on my car windows the other day, so went from like scraping frost off to it raining to it. The weather's just weird. <laughs> Alright, but we're getting close to finishing with a forward slash here. Yeah, just have a couple more color blocks here. That almost looks like a hair on the adhesive, but yeah, I'm just going to basically uh, drill over it. <laughs> it looks like a hair, but I could just be seeing things. Could just be a mark in the glue or in the adhesive. But yeah, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Yeah, this is a quick half hour. Down below in the description, I put the main website links for Conqueror and Pacer. Just virtual uh, activity challenges. Just a 
stay active. It's an incentive to stay active. Uh, so for Conqueror, Great Barrier Reef, the East Coast off of Australia. Yeah, that reef system. And then uh, for Pacer, uh, Wild Atlantic Way, the coastline of Ireland. Yeah, I'm still hacking away at those. So at that one. I'm almost done that one. Then I'll have to choose another uh, Pacer challenge. But anyway, I'm not partnered or... Yeah, don't have any discount codes or won't make a commission if you purchase any of the challenges. The websites are just there. It's not an affiliate link or anything. So, yeah. I just put them down there just for the giggles and tickles. So, just in case you're curious. So... And I just list what challenges I'm working on for each. So I do talk about it on occasion, but yeah. Any updates regarding uh, Echoes of Color here will just be posted here on YouTube. Uh, it's mostly progress photos, start and finish photos, and then progress photos in between of each section. And I explain uh, what's going on in each section of the canvas that I'm working on and uh, up until completion. Yep, and then I do unboxings here on the channel of the next canvas, etc, etc. Kit up, take a picture with the drills kitted up and the canvas without the drills on it. Yeah, it's kind of cyclical, yeah. So, it's just a continuous cycle, so. But anyway, Take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors slash hobbies. Thank you for your support. And I will be back again soon. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>